welcome to my YouTube channel. What's he up to now? Smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a like. Share it with someone else that might like it. It really helps me and my channel out. I really appreciate it. Well, without further ado, let's see what he's up to now. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pie I invented. I didn't invent the ingredients, of course, but this is what I like to do. You're going to need an Oreo cookie pie crust or a chocolate pie crust and some banana pudding and milk, Peter Pan peanut butter, and two bananas. Well, probably need about a quarter cup of peanut butter. And of course, you know, you just make your jello normally with two cups of milk. And you need two bananas. So take one banana. So use, this will be the third time I've made this, and I've used two bananas every time. Now, us people, we like to peel our bananas like this. Break off that end. Duh. All right. That seems like it's easy enough to me. But they say that monkeys open it up from this end. And it's supposed to be easier to open. Well, I didn't notice much difference, but it does take off more of the strips here, I guess. But I guess also with bananas, you can take this inside of the banana, use a knife and scrape this off, and this is all good to eat. So you can add that to stuff if you scrape off the inside of the peel. Just something else to know. All right, so we got two bananas. <clears throat> And I'm just going to show you how, how I slice them. So, I like to slice them about almost a half inch thick. If you can see that in my hand, about a half inch thick. So anyway, I'm going to take and slice a whole bunch like that and I'll come back. I'm going to take a quarter cup of peanut butter and melt that. I'll come back. I'm just going to follow the instructions in the Jello box, banana Jello pudding, and uh, I'll come back with that. Then I'll come back with the Oreo pie crust that I put in the refrigerator, so the peanut butter will harden up on it. All right, so I'll be back when I have it ready to assemble. But this is what you need for it. Okay, I got my approximately a little bit more than a quarter cup of peanut butter melted. I chilled my crust for a couple hours in the fridge. I'm just going to pour this peanut butter on here. And, oops, I need my little spatula to get it all off on the pie. Get it all out of there. Alright, now I'm just going to spread this peanut butter around the pie, go up the sides, like that, all the way around, Try to go up the sides a little bit more. But I sure do like. I think I'm going to call this the the Presley pie, because Elvis for breakfast used to like to. His cook would put a stick of butter in a frying pan, and make grilled peanut butter and banana sandwiches. So this has got peanut butter and banana in it, and I like those grilled sandwiches too. Those are good. So I think I'm going to call this the Presley pie. And. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is put that in the refrigerator, let the peanut butter harden up for another hour, and then we'll be back and we'll put the bananas on. Okay, step two, we're going to put the bananas on here. Now, I forgot to mention, I <coughs> heated up the peanut butter for 40 seconds, and then I had to do another 20 seconds. So you don't want to overcook the peanut butter. So now I'm going to lay these bananas up 
all the way around the edge like so simple enough Ooh, I might have cut them too thick I might need more banana maybe not usually two bananas is perfect but I got more and Just do the bottom. Layer it all nice with banana. And I think I'm gonna have just enough. Perfect. Well, pretty damn close to perfect. I'm gonna cheat and slice one of these thick, thicker ones in half. There, just so I can cover it all. <laughs> perfect. Alright, now I'm gonna mix up the pudding, follow the instructions, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'll mix up the pudding for two minutes. Now we're just going to pour it right in there in the pie. And two cups of milk, jello pudding, instant pudding. Because this is easy presley pie. Presley pie. Now, if I had my mom's Boston cream pie chocolate topping mix recipe, homemade, and froze this, and then poured that hot chocolate on top, this would be ultimate. But it wouldn't be easy presley pie then, would it? Doing that homemade. Now I'm just going to spread this all to the edges. Like so. Get it all to the edge. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Now, I'm going to refrigerate it again and then we'll come back and try it. I know it's good, but we'll just. We'll, we'll have to try it anyway. All right, be right back. Put it in the fridge for mm, probably an hour. All right, bye. Well, this is what he's up to now. I'm going to use a. I'm going to use a um, pizza cutter to cut my pie. What do you think of that idea? Okay. I guess I could have got it a little colder. Let's see. The hardest thing to do is get one piece out. First piece is always the hardest. We'll see how that works. Okay. I think I got her. And let's see if we can get her out of here. Aha! Perfect. Perfecto. Now we're going to give her a taste. Let's see what we well I know it's this is so easy to make no oven it's all you need the refrigerator ooh nice chunk of banana there let's see what happens here mmm I love that peanut butter the banana chocolate oh my god that's so good well that shows up to the day Making my chocolate, peanut butter, banana, El Presley pie. Yeah, I say that ten times fast. All right. Well, 
I hope you guys enjoy this if you make it. It's really tasty and super easy. Have a great day. Well, thank you for watching my video to the end. Well, since you did, I'd like to ask you to subscribe, like, and share if you like this video. You never know what's going to be happening next, so stay tuned. Check back with me and see what's going on. I'll try to post a video once or twice a week to see what I'm, to see what he's up to now. All right. Have a great day. Thank you very much.